Good evening, Revere sports fans, and welcome to the Roland Marullo Fieldhouse on the campus of Revere High School for the Northeast Conference game between the Revere High Patriots and the Magicians, love that nickname, of Marblehead High School. See what tricks they have up their sleeve. There's Peter DiGiulio along with Mike Hinojosa. And uh, Mike, four and one, kind of cruising right now. I, I don't know what Marblehead's uh, record is, but they usually have a pretty good team and we'll see what they got tonight. They just have to, they just have to protect the ball from what I've seen. Well, Peter, I think they've almost averaged uh, well over 25 turnovers a game. And yeah. uh, even last game, again, they win by 30, and uh, they had still had 16 turnovers in the first Against half. Against good teams, you're not going to beat good teams when no. you turn the ball over that And it's much. exactly what happened to Beverly. Yep, exactly. Their only loss of the season. But they beat a good Peabody team. Marblehead wins the tap. Yeah, Marblehead's got, got first some, possession. some big girls. Good cut to the basket, throws a left hand, they're up, no good. Gotham walks and gets away with it. And, and his turnover number one. Yep. You know what I can't get about girls, Mike? They don't throw it the easiest pass on the inbounds pass. The girl wide open right here, she's looking for somebody cut. She's all alone. Okay. Yeah, Marblehead throwing the ball around. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Nine. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Shot clock violation by good defense by Revere. You know, Peter, and that's the thing. You know, we may we may turn the ball over a lot, but our defense has caused plenty of turnovers. Yep. And uh, that's yeah, it's Megan Gotham. Yep. She's improved. She's improved a lot, Mike. Yep. In the last year or so. Okay. Marblehead brings the ball up. 2-0 Revere, 6.41 left in the, uh, in the first quarter. Marblehead drives, scoops the ball into the corner, overshoots the basket, yep. Hector with the rebound, here she comes, she comes up the court. Underneath the Gotham, she hits the bottom of the basket. Yep. Blocked by Gotham, and then she fouls. Pete DiGiulio, Mike Hinojosa, on camera tonight. Christian Eves bails us out at the last second, baby. Home from school, gonna go to Salem State in next semester. He's transferring to Salem State. Christian's a good guy. They're looking for a cameraman, he volunteered right away. He's just a great kid. Certainly is. So, it's 2 1. Off the rim. Rebound by Scott. Scott's got to move the ball up. Yep. Switches over to a left hand, gives it over to Hector. Over to Hinojosa. Ali gets it into the captain, the other captain. That's good Adana ball movement. Shot. No good. Ali chases the ball down. Out to Scott. And could Scott be a travel. Up. No good. She got away with a travel yep. too, Mike. But foul's going to be on number 10. Nicole Fredo. He's got it underneath. He hasn't got it yep. on the shot. First foul on Marblehead. One on Revere. Adana takes the ball. Revere's in a box. Got it from behind. That's good. Foul's on number 21. Jenny Norcross. Going to the line, Tiffany Harris, co-captain, along with Ali Hinojosa. 2-1 Revere. And that's been Tiffany another little uh, sore spot of ours. The free throw percentage oh, really? has been... Uh, Tiffany finds the oh, bottom 50%. of the net with that one. 3-1.
Mike Revere's got a young team, but the Northeast Conference is down as low as it's been in probably the last six or seven years, I think. So they got a good shot to make some runs here. Yep. <coughs> Allie fouled her on the way through. She missed the layup. 3-1. Three to two, I have a feeling it's gonna be one of those nip and tuck, pull and shove games. Well, I, I think we've we've watched Rivea get off the slow stats for the first uh, four out of five games that they've played, so. It's tied at three. Here comes Hector, she's bringing the ball up. Nice bounce pass to Tiffany. Tiffany gets hit and there's no call. And there's Megan Rocker. for the follow, yep. yep. Great to be six, nine. Yeah, it is. You can't. There's no matchup for her with a lot of uh, a lot of teams, even though she's not a finesse player. No, you know. The 21 throws it over the backboard. It's 5-3. Revia coming back. Here comes Maritza Scott. Deflected by yep. the magicians. All the CEOs sitting up in the stands <laughs> from, <laughs> from Bobblehead don't yeah. like to call. Too bad, they usually get what they want. Yeah, here we go. Adana's looking to get the ball in. She gets it into Hinojosa and she's gonna jack it up and it's good, oh. I thought that was going. Let's reveal ball. I mean, it's a Marblehead ball. So I'll free Yeah, it looked like it could have been off Marblehead. No I one complaining, though. I thought it might have been. Okay, Marblehead gets the ball in. What's up, girls? Brings it around to the right. Lindsey Walker. Kobe Shea, she's a freshman, number four. I remember her when we played her in middle school last year. Allie gets the rebound. She takes it up left all the way. Gets it underneath to Scott, nice pass. Yep. Nice pass by, by Allie. Just waited till the right time to get it across. You know, Mike, there's a young team. One senior, Tiffany Harris. Yep. If they do well this year, they get a lot of confidence. And then next year, I think the sky's the limit for this crew. You know, for the next couple of years. Get yeah, no, it of, doesn't stop. Get a couple of people coming up and just keep rolling. Diana knows how to use talent. Oh, okay. The rainbow doesn't fall this time. Rainbow. There it is. 6-3 Revere. good. 6-3 Revere. Double them up. Here comes Marblehead. Get it over. Get it over the half, half court. Yep. Allie's nice play by Allie. He knows that she gets fouled on the outside. And that's already yeah. four fouls on Marblehead. They're going to be in the penalty before the end of the first period. Revere looking to put it in. Hector looking for somebody to give it to. Gives it to Allie. Allie's got the open shot. Off the side of the rim. Here comes Marblehead. Ooh. Number four, she's a freshman. Colby Shea. Over to Ashley, Ashley Stiles. She was smart enough not to get up with it. That's going to be uh, Revere Ball. Marblehead won the tap. Hey, Tiff, make sure you take it to the hoop. Marblehead doesn't, Marblehead doesn't look tough on offense here, Mike, in the, nope. opening, in the opening couple of minutes. Maritza Scott's not supposed to move. OK, 
They kick the ball out of bounds, and Revere's going to take it again. Marblehead coach is losing his mind over there. He's yep. very lackluster start for his team. Watch your Revere TV, baby. Anything you want, tune it in. Channels 8, 9, and 22 on your cable box. And there's and Tiffany. There goes Tiffany right, right to, the to the basket. She's not afraid. No. A lot of girls are afraid to get down the middle. Tiffany doesn't care. And if you saw her father standing behind us, <laughs> you'd know why she's tough. Oh, and that's a travel. So Marblehead making mental mistakes and Revere yep. playing steady. Right. One, you know, one nothing, turnover. Nothing fantastic, but playing steady. One turnover to start the game. That's nice. Okay. So Cristoforo calls a timeout. I think that was Marblehead. Was it? Yeah, he after the travel. Bench, oh, did he? he? Yeah. But regardless of who called it, somebody called a timeout. And, you know, Diane is going to tell her kids just. Who relax. called that timeout? Oh, thank you. Black. So it was a Marblehead timeout. Five point lead for Revere, 303 left in the first quarter. And with each victory, this young team is gonna gain confidence. Yep. You know? Well, again, it, it's, so they've been in two close games, one they lost by three points and another yeah, one that they won, won right? Yep. So I think that's important for this team. And uh, especially winning the last one, I think they're gonna know how to win close games. And I know, um, Coach has been riding them about the turnovers. You know, just make good, smart passes. Put the, you know. Do you know who their non-schedule, uh, non-league schedule? Uh, I includes? think it. I think it. One is Medford. Yeah, maybe they even play Medford. Leo Burke's the coach over there. Revere kid. Or Revere guy. He's oh, nice out. pass by Alley. That was a beautiful pass by Alley. Uh, yeah. Maritza misses the bunny, but she's gonna get two free throws. Fifth foul. No, it, it's uh. Maritza fouled her after oh, on the well, rebound. That's right, it is, a, it is Maritza's foul. So not only does she miss the bunny, but she fouls. Okay, it's number four, the freshman. That fouls on Gotham, that's her second. We're gonna see Valentina, maybe. Gotham's got two. Nope, it's gonna be Natasha. I Carviello. Number 14, Lindsay. Oh, no, nobody's at the line. Yep. It's okay. You don't mind seeing giving up a foul like that when they're being that aggressive. No, you're and right. You have that many turnovers. That's yeah. okay. Put one to the chest. Yeah. You know, maybe they won't come back. Girls are different than boys. Revere's got five fouls now. So to number four, Colby Shea, the freshman. They, they swapped out into the two three. Yep. Freshman Shea. Comes Adana, bring it up to the left, over to the right. Natasha dumps it That's in. That's a great pass by Natasha. That is a nice and pass. And a great by finish by Carviello. Gotham. That's six for Gotham. And Gotham finishes, yep. Okay, and another over the back, number 14. It's her second at least. Here comes Tatiana Carviello. She's going to come in for Adana. Trisha Chivas in for um, for Gotham. Okay, the I. Carviello sisters on on the floor together. Yep. Here comes Natasha. She goes over to the left, over to Alley. Alley underneath to Trisha. Trisha's aggressive. Throws up a hook shot. Misses. Tiffany saves it. Now it's on the floor. Tiffany saves it again. And again. Yep. We got time out. White. Good job. Yep. Save the possession. Because she would. Because she would have been. It would have been a traveling call yep. if she waited one more second. So Revere's up seven, Mike. Marblehead hasn't shown much at all. You know, they got one basket and one free throw. Are they all free throws? No, they got one basket. 
Yeah, they got one. Watching Revere TV, Pete DiGiulio, Mike Kinahosa, Christian Eves, working the lens tonight. You know, he was complaining to me that they canceled the boys' hockey game on cable tomorrow night, but it's right in the middle of the, uh, the Patriots game. <laughs> yeah. Well, you might love hockey, but they said to Sean Hutt, they said, you're the one that scheduled it. But he didn't know the Patriots would be playing when he scheduled it five months ago. Yeah, that's, uh, what are you going to do? That's what, the, what the DVR is for. Look at the girls back out on yeah. the court. We got Pamela in for uh, Allie on the timeout. I'm surprised that Pamela doesn't stop for Maritza. The okay. thing is, Maritza just plays such great defense. Yeah. Tatiana Ayakoviello hits the side of the backboard, then throws another turnover. Mike, the they point had guard Natasha has to know how much wide yeah. open for you know. both Pam and um, Tatiana. Point guard has to know yeah. how many seconds are left on the shot clock, how many seconds are left on the, on the game clock. It's part of their job. That's a travel. No call. In the corner. Good board by Tasha. Yeah, marble. Good box out. No, 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 right. no, Side no, no. Up. We don't. That's, that's the pass, pass we do not want, Peter, but not a turnover, so... Well, we got three turnovers in the quarter. I, I believe we had like 11 in the first yeah, quarter. Now the 32nd is counted as a turnover, ago. correct? I did. I, yep. Tasha throws yep. it up, but she gets hacked. That's the sixth foul. On Marblehead. The magicians are going to have to pull a rabbit out of their hat pretty soon. <laughs> Let me tell you. They're down seven. Natasha makes it eight. 11 to three. Revere. 70 seconds left in the quarter. <coughs> Marblehead brings in Abby Settlemeyer. All right, 12 to 3, Revere. Yep. Stay on your toes, Pam. Stay on your toes, Pam. Bad pass. Trish is on the spot. Underneath the Pam. She gets it blocked and they call a foul. Oh. Oh, the magicians are not happy about that. That's okay, Peter. What they didn't see was the hand in the back. No, oh, exactly. Yep. That was a good call by the ref. It was. You know, if it was on the other side, we probably would have been saying the same thing, but it just, yeah. it's all about angles when you're reffing. Pamela Gonzalez at the free throw line, shooting two. She's a lefty. A lefty, yep. She back rims it. It's the second. 13-3. So Double digit lead in the first quarter. Good sign, but there's a long way to go. Abel has thrown the ball around haphazardly. You know. Yep, that's it's the eighth foul. See, Peter, and, that, and that's the that's the pass that they're making that they they've kind of stopped over the last couple of games. Last last game was a, a few silly mistakes, but that half court pass down below that they just don't seem to convert on is kind of stopped. So under control, give it to a guy. Yep. That's is Tiffany at the free throw line. Clangs the first. 10-point lead for Revere, 13-3, 28.6. We 
left in the first quarter. Tiffany dips and shoots and oh, and breaks the second one. Rebound by Pamela Gonzalez. <coughs> Otaya Corviello. No, that was Pam. Gonzalez short yep. arms the uh, the 14 footer. 16 seconds. At six, we got five <coughs> left in the quarter. Ooh. Okay, Mike. That's One a good job. Down. Yep. Good quarter for Revere. They're up by 13 to three. I see uh, one of their starters over there um, icing her foot for Marblehead. And Diana's going to go back to her starting five, I believe. She has I think she's going to put. I think she's going to put some space right now, Peter. Yep. Well, Marblehead, can they be this bad? They have. They have done nothing. You know, the okay. coach is probably gonna. I, I you know, Peter, I, I, I think they played great defense. I mean, that was a very good first quarter defensively, and uh, that's back-to-back -back games. I think they, they held. They just and keep I, running. They just keep. Well, running. I know that's English isn't a very good team, but to hold a team to 11 points through three quarters, Peter, is, uh, you know. Yeah. Well, it's time for the rest of the league yeah. to get back at English. They were pounding everybody's skull. For years and years and years, and finally, they stink. So, take it out on them, baby. Okay, you're watching Revere TV. You got Source and Revere for anything you want. Check them out. Channels 8, 9, and 22 on your cable box. Peter DeGiulio, Mike Hinojosa, Christian Eves from Rolla Marullo Fieldhouse. Revere's up 13 to three. Long pass over into the corner. Marblehead keeps swinging it, gets it underneath. Back out to the top. She drives down the middle, lefty hook, puts it up. Ooh. I thought Marblehead knocked that out of bounds. Bobblehead hasn't scored since the yeah, since coach yelling at Megan, but the, the problem is not flat. everybody's Tiffany, <laughs> you know. No, exactly. Okay. Coach must have saw something he didn't like from his senior, Lena Fisher. Yeah. Because he makes the quick hook. He's been in the game for 30 seconds. They're trying to press, Mike. I'm not sure how successful they're going to be. That was a good pass. Oh, that was a nice pass. Nice lefty layup. Yep. She travels. Yep. Girls, don't run away from your guard. Here comes Marblehead. Down by eight. Nice, Allie. 15 to five. Nice direct layup by Allie. Didn't hesitate at all. Revere's lead is back to 10. In the corner, she throws up a three. She air balls the three. It's off Marblehead, it's gonna be Revere ball. Very unimpressive so far, Mike, Marblehead. They look confused. They're not taking good shots. Well, I think the coach is also bringing them out of a 1-3-1. One, one. Yeah. And, uh, and putting them in a 2-3 zone, so 
probably causing a little confusion in their offensive yep. sets. But they're back to a 1-3 right now. They started off the game in man. Yep. So. There goes Come Tiffany. Steph. Nobody's going to stop. A stops, pops, round the rim. No luck. Here comes Marblehead. I'm calling a foul. Yep. I'm calling a foul on Megan Gotham. That's her third, I think, Mike. Yep. That was a. Um that was a double whistle there. Yeah, and, it was. Uh, late, the, the woman always wins. <laughs> <laughs> in marriages, in life, and in basketball reference. The woman always wins. Remember that, guys. Bobblehead can't throw the ball off the pier into the ocean. 15 to 5, 540. They haven't had very many shots either, though, Peter. Nice, makes the second. Revere's up by nine. Still not an insurmountable lead, but certainly a comfortable one. <laughs> Fouls on Maritza, that's her seventh. It's gonna be one, it's the Team's seventh, I believe. It's going to be one on one. Here comes the freshman, Valentina Pepek. Two freshmen. Is this Valentina's first minutes? Tonight, yes. Yep. Hey, I think she's played pretty well when she's in there. Oh, she has. And we can talk about the three freshmen all day. I mean, she, they've played considerable minutes. Here's the putback. 15 to 8. Revere's up. Lead has been cut to 7, but. Well, somebody's open. Pamela puts it up. Bounces off the rim. She's out. It's going to be Revere ball. a lid on the basket a little bit for review in the last couple minutes. Yeah, well, 13-3. shots. <laughs> See his play evolving. It's out to Pamela. Pamela traveled and didn't get called. <laughs> Every time Tiffany goes to the hoop, she's going to get called. Yeah. I mean, it looks like every time. That's fine for us. Tiffany at the line for two. Revere's up by seven. They've been up by as much as ten. Okay. Lead is eight, 16 to eight. Yep. Double them up on the scoreboard. There she goes, yep. 17-8. Bobblehead has eight points in 11 minutes. Oh, good play, Adana. Knocked out of bounds by Adana. Uh, somebody missed yeah. an assignment on the knee, Mike. 17 to 10. Comes Revere trying to get it over. Gets it over to Pamela. Zally, nice long. shot. That's nope. long. And there's Tiffany for the rebound. Yep. 
Pamela Gonzalez doesn't use the right very much. She's all left. Oh, uh, she's a lefty. <laughs> yep. And a freshman. Rivera's up by nine again. Marblehead can't cut into their lead. It's 19 to 10. Johnny Mo says she fiddles and diddles out top. Fade away. No good. Bad shot. Off balance. Here comes Pam. Goes cruises to the left. Underneath the tip, she gets tripped up yep. and loses it out of bounds. Here comes Gotham. She's in for Pepic. Pepic. Got a couple of minutes. Comes number 22, Grace McGurin. She's a senior. Let's go, Adana, that's all you right there. Here's the freshman, Colby Shea. She's got it out top. Good D, good D, good D. Give it up to number 10, Nicole Fredo. That one-handed cross-court pass, always dangerous. It goes. Well, it could be a travel. It could. They're just not calling travels tonight for some reason. There's been a few of them. There's Allie. She spots up. Uh, throws it out of bounds. Six turnovers yeah. for the Revere guys. An improvement over the last time I saw them play. Yep. Here we go. 3-12, 3-11 left in the, in the first half. Colby Shea, the freshman, takes it up to the top. On the three-point line, throws it up and no good. Deflected out of bounds. It's gonna be Revere Ball. Tasha throws up a shot. Bobblehead's just haphazard, throw it up when you can. Here comes Megan Gotham. She goes up, she lays it up and in. She's got eight points tonight, Mike. Yeah. And Revere's got their biggest lead at 11. 21 to 10. When you, when you have your centers running the floor, that's pretty good. Yeah. Come a long way in a year. The foul was blocked by Natasha. She caught it and she stepped out of bounds. Pretty athletic play. 21 to 10, Revere. Marblehead's got the ball under their basket. They haven't been able to make any dent in the Revere lead. Underneath the 22, out for a three pointer. Around the rim and out. Marblehead still can't buy a basket. Tasha steals the ball and goes out of bounds. Yeah, they can't. That one was halfway down, Peter. But um, Marblehead, Mia Bongiorno taking the ball out. Her sister played in the middle school game the other day, which Revere won 43 to 39. Okay, here we go. Seven. One. Marblehead has at least matched that total, Mike. Oh, and then some. Help, help. Just don't impress me. Bingo. Oh. You know, Megan was wide open, uh, but they, they haven't found the open people. Cross-court pass. <laughs> Tiffany intercepts it. Over to Megan. Here comes Tiff. Here comes the, here comes the night train. Gets it underneath to Gotham. Gotham misses the layup. Gets her own rebound. Throws it out. It's going to be a turnover. Oh, 
Quintana gets back, knocks it yep. out of bounds. It's going to be Marblehead ball, but definitely saved the basket. 58.7 seconds left in the, in the half. Tatiana Corviello replaces her sister. Some dinner talk tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That was a good shot. Left handed Tommy Heinzen shot. Yep. It's a nine point lead, 51 seconds left. Tiffany. Oh, and that's another good look by, um, by Pamela. Pamela. Yep. yep. 39 seconds. Revere's See, up by 11. We've seen some very good passing tonight. Yeah, we have. But that, I think that's a big difference between this year and last year is that Revere gets some easy baskets. You oh, know, because they're catching the ball. It's out of bounds. They yeah. catch the ball. But I'm saying they have some good looks around yep. the basket. Last year we didn't see that too often. Yep. That's a tenth foul on Bobblehead. Tiffany's gonna go to the free throw line shooting two. And the refs are hearing it tonight, folks. Yep. Probably his stockbrokers in the stands. <laughs> Selling. There goes Tiff. She missed the first. Revere's up by 11, their biggest lead of the night. 12. Now they're up by 12. And double them up again. 24-12. Hold the team to 12 points and a half, Mike, again. Good defense. Oh, it's a turnover. She carried the ball. Mabahud's very unsure of themselves, Mike. Once they get in the front court, they don't look like they're sure of themselves. They don't have a sure ball handler. One point seven seconds left. Revere's up by twelve points, the biggest lead of the game. Tatiana plays good defense on her. Yep. Point three seconds. Bobblehead's gonna get the ball in. Just let him get it in. I don't think this girl can reach the basket from there. There we go, Mike. All right. Half. The score is Revere 24, Marblehead 12, and we'll be back in the second half. Mike. We will be. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Christian. Christian Eves, thank you. We're, We're back. back. <laughs> We're up. back for the second half. Revere's up 24 to 12. Pete DeGiulio, Mike Hinojosa. Revere versus Marblehead High School, and Marblehead hasn't acquitted themselves very nice. Lee tonight. And that's to Revere's advantage. Revere's going from left to right on your screen. Adina handles the ball, gets it into Tiffany, and, and another easy basket. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. So Revere's up 26 12. Marblehead, the deeper they dig a hole for themselves, the less easy it's going to be for them to get out of it because they don't look like they can come back. Oh. Stupid foul on Tiff. Yep. Comes out and slaps away. Nothing, nothing worse than a foul 20 feet from the basket. Yeah, she's so much more athletic than the kid she fouled. Actually, yeah. that might have been. Let her beat you. 11 turnovers in the first half. Mike, it's still finished up by 12. Now they're up by 14. Going to be a foul on Maritza Scott, transfer from was a two, Salem. Two quick fouls on Revere. Yep, yeah, and I think that could be her third. Yeah, it might be. Marblehead gets the ball into the freshman, Shea. She goes around to the left. She's at the top of the circle. She throws it to a cutting player. 
overthrows the basket. In the corner to Alley tries to get it underneath no, to Megan. Megan tries to save it underneath. Alley puts it up and no good. Scott gets the rebound. She gets fouled. Fouls on number 14, Lindsey Walker. Moretz is at the line shooting the deuce. And the rainbow, rainbow goes down. It is up by 15, Mike. What goes up must, must come, down. come down. Hopefully it's through the basket. Biggest lead of the game, 15. It's yeah. Revere ball. Revere would like to run and hide, Mike. If you Hector gets the ball in bounds. There's Megan Gotham's mother calling for a foul. Oh, Marblehead lays it in. Cut it to 13. Over to Meg, uh, over to Adana. Now he gets the ball. Oh, uh -huh. nice running yep. right hander. She's got 10 points tonight. She's up by 15 again. By 13. Who was that foul on? Was that foul on Megan? That's yeah, that was four. Megan. Huh? That was Megan. Yep. She's got four, Mike. Oh, Doesn't okay. seem like it. Uh, I think I think he just said two. Two? Yeah. Oh, it's way more than two. It's at least three, but I'm I counted four. She got a rainbow too. It goes yep. in. Okay, lead so, is twelve. Bobhead's making a little bit of runs, twelve points. They've been stuck in that 12 13 rut. Over to Moritz. Moritz lays it up and in. Attacking the basket tonight, Mike. Yeah, they haven't taken too many outside shots. No, they've been attacking the basket all night. You know, they just smell a weaker team. I mean, yep. Marblehead is a weaker team. Hey, but number 10. Nicole Fredo sticks the three. Yeah. Don't want to give them any confidence, Mike. 31 to 20. The lead was 15 yep. points a few seconds ago. Now it's now it's 11. I knew Marble had had to have a little bit of a run in them. Because they stunk in the first half, plain and simple. Comes from to Scott. She goes left to right, then right to left. Gets in the corner alley. Thirty-one twenty, five oh five left in the third quarter. In the first half, Marblehead was as cold as the weather, Mike. They've hit a few of their last few shots, steps behind the three-point line and take another one. Hits the front of the rim. Over to Scott. Scott's gonna take it hard to the hole. She misses the layup. Foul on oh. Tiffany. Let's hope it's not Tiff. Huh? Yeah. That's two on Tiff, I think. Yeah. 
Pepler Gonzalez replaces Ali Hinojosa. And Mike, they're holding uh, steady. You know, they went up 15 a little bit, gave up that three. A three can really energize a team, man. Well, they were up 12 at halftime, weren't they? <coughs> yes, sir. Yep. <coughs> yep, up 12 at halftime. Now it's 11. So it's going to be up and down. They just can't afford to give away the ball. 13 turnovers in a game. Would you say they average, Mike, 15, 16 a game? Oh, no. No, no money? No, no, It's 25, believe it or not. 25 a game. They've had uh, at least two games with 30 turnovers, so wow. they've only played five games. One game with 26, so it, it's no. not an exaggeration. This is a good night for them, actually. Yep, good. Thir 13 turnovers. I mean, the turnovers aren't really hurting them tonight. Let's put it that and way. A, and a lot of easy baskets. Yep. But we do have four fouls in this half. Yeah, fouls tell me that they're being aggressive. I, I didn't see... Well, one stupid foul. Yeah, toes, Tiffany tried to rip the ball away from something. All right. Bobblehead's moving the ball better than they did in the first half. Throws it up and no good. Gets the ball back. Tries to stop for a three. Changes her mind. Gets it over. No good. Tell when it left her hand. Freshman, bam. That's a two-pointer for Colby Shea. <laughs> And Marblehead's within nine, underneath the Tiff. Tiff throws the ball, it gets deflected out of bounds. Here comes Natasha and Trisha. She gets the ball deflected over to Natasha. That's, That's down. Oh, I thought that was down too, Mike. Oh, she guns it, Mike. That was a howitzer. Wow, oh, they're throwing too many skip passes. That's no good. That was strong when it left her hand. It's gonna be Marblehead basketball. <laughs> 326, 326 left in the third quarter. Revere's up by nine. Pete DiGiulio, Mikey Nahosa, Christian Eves. And Marblehead has Thank one God for hope, Tiffany so sometimes. Yeah, yeah. That's a that's a big hustle play right there. It's a Tommy point. She makes a lot of big hustle plays. Pamela throws the ball up. Oh, I thought that was off uh, black uh, foot. There were four white feet there and only two black. So, uh, but the lead is nine. We can't keep letting them shoot four or five times. No, I agree. She goes. It's nine points. Here's, here comes Colby Shea. Oh, that was a travel. The lead is seven. Now they cut it to seven, Mike. They've cut eight points off the lead. Oh, baby. It's a double dribble on Adana. Over and back. Oh. She's a freshman. It's a, she makes a lot of freshman mistakes. It's going to be off white. Viz up seven, 233 left in the third quarter. Who's going to give the ball to Revere, Mike? Yeah. He first gave it to uh, Marble. 
I think he said off white when he should have said white ball. Donna Hector throws it into nowhere. Another turnover. Yeah, I mean, the place that the, the position that the team's not really super strong at is point conflict. Anytime there's pressure, they kind of spring a leak. But they're doing the best well, that they can. They got a freshman there at one of the positions, Tatiana. Nice rebound by Maritza. She rips her away. Well, Peter, I don't. Oh. You could tell Scott knows how to play. Yeah. She well, just she has just him blended in with these girls. She transfers here from Salem. Well, Scott is, a, a, first of all, a great athlete. You know, she just doesn't dribble or shoot very well. Like, <laughs> you know, but. But, but she's always there. Aggressive. She's always there. And, always there. and she can take the ball to the basket because she's, she's fearless. There. She's tough. Throws yeah. the rainbow up. Now it's eight. Allie's back in the game. Yeah. Stabilize a little ball handling. Throws up the rainbow. Tiffany goes after it. Hits it out of bounds. But you know something? She made it. She made a good uh, play for it. Great effort. Yep. All right. Oh, it's out to Kobe Shea. She's a freshman. She's handled the point position pretty well tonight for a freshman. She's played the whole game. I don't believe she's come out of the game once. Oh. We're gonna call the push up on Shea. <laughs> Eight points, just as I said she hasn't been out of the game. Now she's out. Pamela Gonzalez is gonna take the ball in. Kalis with the ball. Six footer, no good. She gets her own rebound, it's on the floor. <coughs> it's gonna it's be gonna a, be a ball. magician it's be, ball. It's gonna be, yeah, a magician's ball. We're waiting for a couple of uh, tricks from the magicians yes. we haven't seen well, much yet. It's eight points. Yeah. They're winning this quarter by four, right, as we... Uh, yep. Foul's gonna be on Tiffany. I thought she got all ball, but the gentleman with the whistle didn't. Diana has a question, and she's asking yeah. it rather strongly. Okay, number 14 at the free throw line, Lindsay Walker. She's a sophomore. Another rainbow. It's seven. Here comes Tatiana and Megan Gotham. Here comes Trisha. She comes in for Tiff. Abelhood gets the rebound. They can't be tired, Mike. So three, bingo. The lead is four. And it's four, Mike. So they've been outscored this quarter by how many? Ten points. Gotham misses the bunny. Gets her own rebound. Here comes Scott. She goes up. She misses. Tries to save it, but she's out of bounds. Things are unraveling for the Patriots, Mike, and they yeah, got to stabilize it. Just take your time and protect the ball. PTB. Protect the ball. And then to number 20. She looks. She changes her pivot foot. Nobody calls it. Oh, rainbow that's way over the basket. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get one more. Like we'll get one more possession. And now the 16, 7, there's 11 and 6. 
17 uh, turnovers start to be more striking, you know? Revere's taking the ball in. Careless pass by another turnover. She lays it up and in, Mike, and it's a two-point game. Mike, the ball won't fall for Revere. 25.4 seconds. Oh, it's a double dribble. Unsure of herself, freshman at the point. Has played a pretty good game, but that's the second double dribble on her. All right, we got 14 seconds. Oh, oh man. Only the fourth foul on Marblehead. <clears throat> How many points did Revere have after, at the half, Mike? They only had Wasn't it 24-12? 24-12, correct. Uh, I, so know, outscored I, know, I know that's what the score was at one point in yeah. time. They've been outscored 18-8. Comes Trisha. Nine. Eight seconds. Another turnover for Revere. They have eight this quarter. They've, gi they've given back 10 points. They got yep. 3.8 seconds left. Oh, that's a travel too. Throws it up, no go. Okay, Mike, I was falling asleep before, but you know something, my eyes are wide open now. Revere, 32. Eight minutes left in the game, and now it's a game. Peter DeGiulio, Mike Hinojosa, Christian Eves from Roland Marullo Fieldhouse. And we get a game, unfortunately. Just got a little comment from the peanut gallery. Christian Eves, he's saying that Marblehead was conserving their energy. There's a lot of theories, but Revere has 19 turnovers, and when you have that... Yep. I mean, they didn't shoot the ball in the third quarter, Peter, and that's, no, that's they the problem. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Not they so didn't we attack the basket the way they were in the first half. Yeah. Well, Maritza Scott did, and then Megan had a little floater. She had floater. a couple of shots, but... After averaging 12 points a quarter, they only had eight in that quarter. Gonna be white ball. Ali Hino is our yep. captain. He's gonna take the ball out of hey. bounds. Hey, let's go, Ali. Put the ball in the basket. Marblehead has renewed energy, Michael. They're running out to their positions, and Revere just oh, they're has they're in the to, middle of a game right now. Revere they has certainly. to find the energy that they had early. That one-handed pass by Tatiana drives me crazy. Black ball, it's a, that's a turnover. turnover. So they're approaching their average. Oh, I wasn't joking. They got 20. 7.49 left in the half. Quarter. Game. Oh, around the rim and out. The freshman tries to put it up. She gets hit, no call. But there's going to be a call this time. Is that on Gotham? No, I think that was on little Tatiana. Yeah, it's on 13, Tatiana Iacoviello. That's her first. Number 20, Abby Settlemeyer. And the lead is one, Peter. Yep. They've cut it down. The magicians a 15 have worked some point magic. lead, Peter. I can say on that. 15. Yep. Michael, needless to say, we need a score. Yeah. 
Your father would be embarrassed. They said, that's a terrible goal. Your father would be embarrassed. And she's laughing. The ref's <laughs> laughing at that one. And there's Tiffany, Tiffany bails them out to the rescue. Here we go. It's a three-point lead. Diana oh. imploring her troops to pick it up. Oh. Nice rebound by Heck, I mean by uh, Gotham. Tiffany comes through again, it's back up to five. If you get shots off, Peter, I mean the ball oh, can go right. in the exactly. basket. You were just talking about that. Well, that's a two-pointer. That's gonna go out the door. Marblehead has uh, lost some of their luster in the last minute. Well, Tiffany can, Tiffany can do that. <laughs> 36 to 30 on your right. Let's go. Allie taking the ball in bounds. Nice catch by Tiff. Tiff's gonna take over. Only the only senior on the team. Underneath to Allie, he knows who lays it in. Now it's seven. Well, I think Diana's gonna realize with this club she can't be uh, nice, Diana. No, she can't. <laughs> Team's too young to be nice. You gotta, you know. Six point run for Revere. Ellie's at the line. There was a nice layup, and she got she got killed. She makes the free throw. So now Revere's up eight. 621, still plenty of time. Over to number 11, she puts it up and in. That's a three point, I'm like. And now it's five points. One, one handed pass. Oh. Time out, Revere. <laughs> She calls a timeout as Tiffany's going to the basket. Diana wants to talk yeah. it over. <laughs> Five points, it's a game. Yeah, that was a hey, it was a good run. Yep. Yep. Gotta get out to those shooters. But you know what? They've chucked up a lot of three-point shots tonight. They really have. Oh yeah, they have. Yep. Right. I'm almost I'm almost inclined to see them go back to man to man and get in somebody's face and Oh, I agree. I totally agree. You're watching Revere TV. It's your source in the town for anything you want to see. Old movies, Charlie Chaplin. I mean, real old movies. Not just 1960s movies, 1940s, 1930s. A lot of sports. Morris Morris just <laughs> dominates the airways with his veteran talk. And of course you got us. Peter D and Michael Hinojosa calling every game, every sport. Here comes Marblehead running back on the floor. If he is going to put the ball in. Donna Hector gets it into Ayacaviello. Just throws it underneath to Tiffany who lays it in. That's six out of the last eight points. Thank you, Tiffany. Yeah, thanks Thank you. a lot, Tiff. Well, that's what a senior is supposed to do. You know, now she's got a rebound on the other end, tries to rip the ball away. Well, that's that's going to put him on the line. That's going to be one on one. Yep. Who else? Tiffany at the free throw line. She's going to have two. One on one, Peter. Oh, one on one. Sorry. It's okay. Two. Like you said, two. she got two. She has seven of the last ten points for Revere. In this quarter, Peter. And has spurred them on. Yep. 
No, you're right. They get eight. So Revere's back up by nine. That was the uh, zone almost the whole game until they took off a little bit and got a 15-point lead. It's another up at three. No good. Megan Gotham gets the rebound. Robert Parrish. Underneath to Gotham yep. gets deflected out of bounds by Marblehead. And Revere's Tiffany is ball. now doing it all. Point guard. Revere doesn't get a shot clock on that, Mike. Uh, not on a tip Marblehead out. Dropped. Marblehead hit it out of bounds. A deflected pass? I don't think so. Okay, here we go. And then Itaia Carviello, she gets the ball blocked out of bounds. Yep. It's like a sister, not afraid to shoot. From any place at any time. <laughs> Ten points for Tiffany. Tiffany's gone wild. Absolutely, completely took this game over. Uh, the lead on, is 11. They're on her back. After Mobble had cut it to one. Ali gets the rebound over to Adana. Mobblehead helps the Donna out by dribbling it once for her. Underneath the tiff. Oh, nice. Again. Another pass to a cutting Tiffany. That was good. Right, she switched balls from her right hand to her left to put it up and get fouled. And she'll shoot two. If you're watching at home, this is not the RHS girls game, but it's the Tiffany show. Yes, in this in this quarter. Bing. She must have close to 20 points, Mike. She's got 10 in the last three minutes. Peter, she's going to make a good college player somewhere. She's going to make a college coach happy. No one works harder than she does. Rebound by Allie. Right. Out to Adana. Gets it back to Allie. Gets it into Gotham. Gotham gets it out to Iacoviello. Overshoots the basket. Tiffany gets the rebound, puts it out. Yep. Put them on the line, one on one. Yep. The foul was on Iacoviello, the younger one. Despite what the Marblehead fans have said, uh, this referee duo has done a nice job tonight. Yeah, they've evened it up. Okay, Marblehead cuts it to eight. That's the freshman, oh, right? Cuts it to ten. Yep, she's yep. a freshman. Colby Shea. It's nine. A lot of time, but I don't believe there's enough. The Marble had to cut it again. They're just not a strong enough team, Mike. Nice catch. Nice catch by Meg. Four on one, Mike. Colby throws up a hook. Now it's seven again. So we're at the playground and we're on the seesaw, Mike. Mike, it's five. Yep. There a chance for it to be four. That was uh, not a good shot by Ayacaviello driving down the middle. Take the ball out. Take the ball yep. out. Four minutes left in the game. You're up eight or nine. Didn't need a floater there, Peter. No, they did Two people out on the wing. Yeah, it wasn't even a floater. It was like a, yep. a line drive. Who, who came out of the game? Tiffany Harris. She fouled out. Did she foul out? Oh, no, that was a terrible foul. She thought they were going to hands up. Oh, if that's on Megan, that's... Yeah, that's I think it could be on Allie. Oh, it's on no. Megan. No. 
Crusaders four on her. Okay, it's down to five, 341 left. We're on the seesaw, I hear it. Rolling Marullo Fieldhouse, up and down and up and down and, yep, too strong. Again, takes, up 11. Takes a little tantrum at the free throw line. She misses that one too. Comes a Donnie, you gotta pull it out, gotta pull it out. She's an upperclassman. She pulls the ball out. Now she gets it out to Allie. Down one! Ooh. Throws up a three. She rims it. Here comes Marissa Scott. She's going to go straight to the bucket. Switches to her left hand. Loses the rebound. We're going to have a foul on Revere. That could be two shots. Um, it's one on one. No, that's ten. Oh, yeah, it's ten. It's ten on. Yeah, it's ten on us. That's right. It's two shots. <laughs> now we get the peanut gallery on the rear side. Forty-five, forty. Forty-five, forty-one. Four-point game. It's early in the season, Peter. Revan needed a game like this. Yeah, they do. They need a competitive game. Yep. Because they're not getting a lot of competition in the NEC. It's a one possession game, Mike. 255 left. That's a lousy pass by, uh, yeah. by Scott. Yeah. Okay, Tatiana's gonna go to the free throw line. Yeah. She also should have went to the middle of the court there she's and not the sideline. On yeah, she keeps going to the sideline, but at least she's gonna get to the line. She's gonna be one on one. Three point game. And now you gotta protect the ball more than ever. Got 21 turnovers. It's no good, but S Scott, Johnny on the spot. Here's Megan. Megan. Yep. She had to fill in for Tiff. Three points. I mean, five points. Goes up the three and makes it, Mike. It's a one possession game. It's a two point game. 47 45. Another turnover. Oh. Time out, Diana. I'm not sure I want to hear what she's going to say to me. No. Nope. You know, they're just not protecting the ball. They're throwing dumb passes in a time when you should be just getting the ball up to the top and just waste some time. Maritza Scott is a junior. Yep, should just came able, out of the game. Should be able to take over up the top. She can handle the ball. We have got one exciting game here, folks. Yeah, we do. Yep. Hey, let's go, Revere. Comes Allie. The captain's going to put it in bounds. Tatiana and Adana going to split off. 
Molly gets in the middle to Natasha. Natasha gets it to her sister. She comes over the line. Oh. Yeah, almost another turnover, but. Tatiana's gonna take the ball in bounds. She gets it in the backcourt to Donna. Two minutes straight up left in the game. Donna breaks the press. Natasha. Out to Adana. That was a pass that was almost intercepted. That's a blocked shot, but it's similar to a turnover. Okay, a minute 33. Nabla has not protecting the ball. It has to be 50 turnovers in this game, Mike. Between the two teams. Ali taking the ball in bounds. Tatiana throws it in. There it is. A nice pass by the freshman. Good catch by Gotham, and now it's four. 49-45. 75 seconds left in the game. Timeout. The magician. I think I see their coach taking a top hat. <laughs> Might be a little bit of a rabbit coming out of that hat. Now, unless 49 45. Unless you Revere's can grow him about six inches taller, Peter, we have dominated from the block all night oh, yeah. long. Yeah, Revere you know, has. Um, I mean, Megan's got 12 or 14 points, and uh, to have 20. 20. So you get 30 points out of that position, not a lot of teams are going to beat you. No, and again, we talk about it. the problem is in the third quarter, they probably took three, three shots all yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. I say three, but you know what I mean. So, 49-45. Remember, when you think about it, Revere had 24 points at the half. They have 25 points in the second half. Right. The problem, the problem is, is Marblehead had 12, and they have 45. Yep. So they've scored 33. And again, we opened up this lead to 11 in the fourth quarter again. You know, it was eerily similar to the Lincoln Sudbury game that they lost in the tournament a couple of years ago. Yep. Okay, into the freshman, Shea. She's played a good game. Oh. Cross court, over to Shea. She's going to put it up as a freshman. Bang! It's a yep. one point game, Mike. Timeout, Marblehead. 49-45. I'm sure that Diana said something about yep. well, put I, your hands up. Again, Peter, this certainly. Um, but I'd either like to see them in man-to-man -man or, or in yeah, a 3-2 yeah, right yeah. now. I mean, they're chucking up threes. That was the and, freshman, Colby Shea. And the 2-3 uh, allows you to do that. Mike, you know? we didn't think we were going to have any excitement here tonight with the first half. It was like a sleeper. But now... This game is uh, as close as it could be. One point. 59.5 seconds left. Both teams are in the two-shot bonus next foul. Yep. He knows he's going to take the ball into play. Revere's four across. There we go, 45, 44. Comes Megan. Say, oh, that's a, that's a carry. Reveal 
past three seconds on the shot clock. And the crowd's making them know this. Time out. Marblehead. Okay, 32.1, one point game, Mike. Well, they got three seconds on the 30 second clock. So, they're gonna have time to catch a couple of dribbles, but they're gonna have to put the ball up, so. I'd be willing to guess that Marblehead is gonna foul them when they do shoot, because Teams are like that. They get a little nervous. I see Peter DiCarlo sitting over there with a marble head. <laughs> it's a little bit Very unlike a little, him. A little bit yeah. confused. We certainly miss Logan and all that leadership that uh, she brought. Yeah. That senior class was a leadership class in sports and everything else. We certainly miss them, but we got good seniors this year. Allie's gonna put the ball in bounds. Three seconds left. Adana cuts off. Adana puts it up. They're putting the whistles away, Mike. They're not gonna call any fouls now. Bobblehead calls timeout. That's a Revere timeout. Huh? That was a Revere timeout. Well, the shot clock is off. So Marblehead can play for the last shot. Diane is putting some height in the game. Hey, listen, I'll never question what Diana does, but I'd play Pamela Gonzalez a hell of a lot more than she plays. Well, I think sometimes Pamela plays haphazard. Like, and, like, know, a like a freshman, right. Like a freshman, you're yep. right. But you know something? Yeah. She's just so athletic. She'll get it. She's not going to get it unless she plays yep. a lot. You know, when they were up 15, she should have been in the game, I think. You know, but I'm sitting here and Diana's on the bench. Go, girls. Got to get a stop there. Got to get a stop. Got to run hard, play hard. Oh. Diana hey, went Mike, small we and athletic. The only thing is, these girls got to rebound. Here we go. Come on, let's rebound. Run hard, play hard. Don't get feet deep. Okay, Marblehead gets it inbounds. Ooh, nice steal by Scott. Yep. She's gonna lay it in. That's and that's it, baby. Well, it's a three-point lead. It's a three-point lead. Yep. Let him have the basket, let him have the basket. Nice block by Pamela Gonzalez. Seven. And the turnovers did Marblehead in in the last 15 seconds. Good steal by Scott. She laid it in, Adina's gonna go to the free throw line. Pamela, nice block, Pam. To definitely ice nice it. Wow, what a play. What a turn of events. Yep. Great steal by Scott. Marblehead calls a timeout and then a good block by the freshman, Gonzalez. Who I was just saying should be in the game <laughs> because she's athletic. But, I mean, maybe in the first half she gets called for a foul on that. You know what I mean? Right. But the whistle's in the pocket. Watching Revere TV, Peter DeGiulio, Mike Hinojosa, Christian Eves, working the camera. And Adana has a chance to put it away officially by making one of these two.
ball down and make him count. Dinah can ice it right here, Mike. She does. <laughs> Big free throw right there. We can get off the seesaw now, boys. Yep. Four point three seconds. Four point reveal lead. Five point reveal. Oh, nope. In and out. Four seconds. Three, two, one. Blocked by Nicole. Another block by Maritza. Oh, Maritza. Maritza Scott. Yeah. Here, high school Patriots, fifty-two. And Diana DeCrisopo can exhale. <laughs> you know, Revere played an up-and-down game, but, you know, they protect the ball when they needed to. Uh, made some big plays at the end. And uh, Marblehead never took the lead. They cut it to one. They never even tied it. Yep. You know, and that, that, there's a lot to be said for that. Show some Revere resolve right there. That's okay. two close games that Revere, they've won back. Um, Revere goes to 5-1. Um, and they play next... Monday? Do they play Monday? No, they play Tuesday. They must play. I think they're on the, back on the Tuesday, Friday yeah, I think schedule, they play but. Tuesday. So the final score here from the field house is... 52. Revere 52. Magician. Marblehead 48. 48. And they... Um, go to 5-1. and one. Yep, they go to 5-1. and one. I mean... Peter, they didn't play very good defense in the second half, but that first half defense was uh, tremendous, which is uh, what sprung that lead for them. Yeah, 23 and turnovers. Tiffany Harris, what a, Again, you know, what a fourth Harris quarter those, that she played she before she eight, fouled out. She scored those eight or nine points in a row, and that's what put the VR, um, That gave him the cushion. Over the top. Yep. Yeah. So. Okay, another win. Five and one. Another win. Good weekend for Revere. They can, uh, they, they can uh, relax for a couple of days. Of course, Diana's not going to let them relax. Final score, 54-48. 52-48. Uh, 52-48. Four points. Um, five and one. The game's over. This is Peter DiGiulio. And Mike Hinojosa. Saying good night from Rolla Marula Fieldhouse. Thank you. Christian Eves, you bailed us out on the camera. Good night and uh, kiss your children. Thank you very much. Bye, guys.